good girl. Come on. What are you doing? Teaching my chickens how to surf? You are crazy. Everybody. My name is Bailey and I'm Eileen. Today we're going to show all the new Groms out there what goes on at the Gnarly Charlie Surf Contest. First, early in the morning, Charlie arrives at the contest site and begins setting up all of his stuff. There's a lot of work to be done. Charlie appreciates everyone who is able to help him out. Then at 8 o'clock, parents can start signing their kids up for the contest. The cost is $25 for the first division and $15 per additional division. Nicole is the one who works at the sign-up table. If you would like to save time, mom or dad can print the sign-up sheet from our website and fill it out before you arrive. Here's the sign-up sheets. As Grom sign up, we will begin to put the heats together once we know how many Groms will be in each division. The divisions are based on the age of the Groms. There are usually three to four kids in each heat. We run the following divisions. 
six and under, ten and under pushing, ten and under, fifteen and under long board. The long board and six and under divisions may have both boys and girls competing together. We're always excited to see who will be competing with us. The contest starts at nine o'clock. Please don't be late to the contest or you might miss your age division. This is really important. We always have three judges who work hard all day watching the heats and scoring our waves. It's super important to pay attention so you know when your heat is coming up. There is usually a head judge who is in charge. Each judge has their own copy of this form to score waves on. This is the form they use. Always listen to the announcer. The announcer will tell us who is up to serve next, how we placed in our heats, and when something really fun is about to happen. When we go out for our heats, we will be wearing one of these colored rash guards. That way the judges can tell who we are when scoring our waves. A heat is 15 minutes long. Always listen for the horn. When you see the yellow sign, that means there's just five minutes left in your heat. In a regular heat, you can catch up to 10 waves. In a final, you can catch up to 12. However, always remember that the judges are looking for quality instead of quantity. Nicole is doing today's tabulating. The tabulator is looking for the top two highest scoring wave for each person in the heat. We are always excited to find out how we placed. Always keep an eye out for fun activities going on. Charlie directs games in every contest. At, and he gives away and he gives away pretty cool prizes. Also, Storm Chaser Mike also usually does some really fun skits for this show. He's always looking for helpers. Be prepared to laugh a lot as, Char as Charlie can be really silly sometimes. We have lots of fun activities in our Charge Surf Series. Finally, no contest is complete without a super awesome award ceremony. There's usually four places for each division, but even if we don't win, it's always amazing, fun time here. Charlie always has two special awards to give out at the end of the contest. The Hottest Wave Award goes to the Grom who has the highest scoring wave in the contest. The Sportsmanship Trophy will go to the Grom who displays the best sportsmanship at the contest. This is best award this is the best award you can win at the contest. Always be a good sport, help out, and cheer on your friends. We hope to see you at the next contest to find out when that is. Check out your website at gnarlycharliesurfseries.com. Follow on Facebook or let us know on Instagram.
second place, the Hayden Williams. Alyssa Gilry. Second place, already got our trophy summer. Our champion right here, everybody had to go. Piper Hutchins, the winner. Hollis Wave Award goes to Coast! Sportsmanship Award goes to someone who got pounded today. Uh -oh. Got up, Fisher Heat came in, didn't cry too bad. Natalie Ayas! Go, 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 go